All right, guys, so right now we're filming a podcast. We have been talking about buffing Marcus's head for a very long time. If I look My weird... My head is very dirty, too. Your head's dirty? That's fine. I'll lick it for you. Yeah, we've been talking about buffing Marcus's head for a f***ing long time, and it's finally happening. Marcus is shaving his head with a razor. Dude, it is an animal. I started doing it. I did it for a couple minutes, and it just, it just wasn't working out. But we got Alex here, the real detailer, because I actually don't want to kill Marcus. And if Ben Franklin is watching this, I would like the counter to continue instead of making Marcus bleed all over the podcast room. But if you guys want to be a part of this, um, join the Patreon. We're going to make this dude Mr. Clean. We'll put the picture up right now. This dude's going to be waxing the floor with his, with his head. Oh, look, ready? This is the brand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I kind of want to see what this tastes like. Oh, your oh you're fucking disgusting. Oh, my God. You're you... disgusting. No, no, no. Fucking stupid. 
I can't do this. I can't do this low thing. Like, we're gonna keep it low, but this is just dumb. I can't even drive it. The side skirt's falling off. Sweating balls. Welcome to Florida. This is great. So I just made it back to the shop and I know this is gonna be a question. So I'm just gonna answer it right now. Why the hell did I buy this hot boy looking Miata? So honestly, the only reason why I bought it is because my buddy Bob, he put it up for sale. I hit him up and I was like, yo, come by the shop so I can take a look at it. And I looked at it, I gave him a number that I was comfortable with spending and he kind of just agreed. Now, at this point in the game, I've owned about 14 Miatas. I've never lost a penny on a Miata. Even the one that that heroin addict stole from me and she drove it into that body shop, I actually ended up making a little bit of money off that car, even though it was totaled. So I'm really not worried about owning this car or anything like that. I guess, you, I guess you can call this one of those fun vestments just because I told you guys I wanna get serious and driving and stuff and I mean, you guys haven't seen the video yet but the Rice from Miata is completely done. We grinded all night last night to get that done and this is going to be the secondary drift car. I didn't buy this car to flip it, although I very much can or I can very much part this out and probably make a decent amount of profit like very easily but that's not really the goal of this car. Um, I'm kind of just a hoarder of Miatas. I love Miatas and um, this one was just super cool. It's got SSRs. I actually have the brand new rears back here. I don't know what those are. Those are just some fake junkers. But here are the rear wheels for the Miata. They, these have never even been mounted. He got these built like a year ago and it took a really long time for him to get them back and he never even put tires on them. So that's sick. It came with this super hot boy subframe that he just never put in and honestly, other than the car being way too freaking low, way too freaking ignorant, it's pretty dialed um, other than this, <laughs> like, we have to fix this. I get it, I love it, the thing is super low, it's stupid, it's sick, but it's just impractical. If we go to drift and we hit a little penny, the side skirt's gonna get ripped off. This is literally just from driving on the road. We just can't be having that. Now, as far as the engine bay goes, this is where it gets interesting. Now this is the big reason why I bought this car for the wheels, the hall tech and the engine and like the turbo setup and everything because this is actually why this car is worth what it's worth. Now right here, this bad girl, she is fully built, fully forged and ready for anything. Honestly, kind of the same build that the Ricer Miata has but it's got a Fab 9 turbo manifold, it's got a Borg Warner. Um, turbo setup, a hood dump, which is super ignorant, a turbo smart wastegate, it's got a Koyo Rad. It's literally got all of the goodies that you need for drifting, so this is gonna be a perfect secondary drift car. There's a couple things, I'm not even gonna lie, that I'm not stoked about the car, like the power steering, there's no power steering whatsoever, and they didn't depower the rack, they just kinda left the lines open, so. That rack is definitely just garbage at that point. So we gotta go to Treasure Coast, pick up a rack for that, pick up a power steering pump, and I also wanna get the front engine covers as well. Yo, Jordan, dude, what do you think of the new purchase? You chewing? What? Can you get a bigger Red Bull? What the hell is that? Oh, it's the biggest one there's no. Are you okay? You choking? Dude, you ready to go drifting in this thing? I guess it's only got one seat. But we'll fix that, but we got a lot of plans with this car. Um, I don't plan on getting rid of it, at least right now. Um, it's got a full cage and everything, which is kind of cool, other than it's kind of like zip tied. Like, this definitely needs to be fixed, and the seat belt, I mean, I noticed this when I was driving. I'm like, oh, I guess I'm not even safe, so that's cool. Um, it's got about a thousand dollars of AEM gauges in it, so that's sick, and it's got an OEM hardtop, so. Car is super cool, car is super dialed. I am very excited to get on track with both of these cars, and the cool thing about this now is like, we can bring the two car trailer that only actually fits two Miatas, which kind of works out perfectly. Look at this guy, what are you doing? Yo, tubbed? Tubbed. Fully tubbed, kind of. Um, the trailer only fits like two Miatas, so this is perfect. If the ricer breaks, we got this. If this breaks, we got the ricer. Now we got two chances of driving all day instead of one. And like I said, you guys are gonna find out tomorrow what's going on with the ricer. I mean, dude, did we grind last night? 
We, yeah. <laughs> he's got a Red Bull. We slaved away to that car. We're trying to get a lot of things done. And I know some people they are gonna be like, oh my God, you bought another car, another project. We're getting projects done. You don't worry about it. We got it covered, so. I guess that's it. What we're gonna work on today is we're gonna try to get this thing on the lid. <laughs> we're gonna de-stance it-ish. Like we still want it to be stanced, but this, this is just too much. It's literally undrivable, but we're actually gonna time warp into the past because Jordan, he fixed his Honda Accord and she's actually making some power and we did that yesterday as well. Sorry I haven't been posting the last two days. The first day, I just kind of took a day off because physical therapy has been kicking my ass. And the second day, we were kind of just grinding all night here and it's like, it was 4 a.m. and I'm like, I'm not gonna upload right now. So enjoy the rest of the video and I hope you guys are stoked in this car. I'm gonna try to go drifting as soon as freaking possible. What is going on guys, Chris Rennick here and today, we got the Accord back in the dyno. Jordan, what'd you fix on this beloved creature? Do you want the long version or the short version? Short version. <laughs> um, it's a non-adjustable distributor, so I had to trick the S300 into thinking that it was 16 degrees um, before top dead center for ignition timing. I did that. So we'll see what it does now, because it was basically eight degrees retarded or advanced. I don't know, I just set it in the middle. Yeah, so maybe that's why the car was acting up a little weird, because it's only acting up in the higher RPM. Right. So you fixed all of that. Don't worry about the wastegate or the cooling issues right now. The point right now is to see how much power it can actually make. Are you still on the 6 PSI? Yeah. So you're not really, we're not going to expect too much more then. No. So, but I don't know. We're, I just wanted to rev out to 7K and then it'll be. Yeah, and then you'll fix all the other issues. So we're, we're going to do a couple dyno pulls and we'll see what it does. All right, so we just saw the first run. What do you think of that? What, it was an extra 30, 40 horsepower. Because we were at 136. What were we at? 150, it, 159. Oh, we were at 159. So we got we jumped 20 horsepower. Yeah. So it was the timing. So partly, partly. Now the question is, how much will 6 PSI do? How you know? Much? I would like, if, if we see 200, dude, huge difference. That's, that's, yeah. Yeah, for sure. So Jack's going to do his magic, and we're going to figure it out. That's gonna be your highest number, Jordan. Oh, he's excited. Look at that guy. Two thirteen. Jordan's coming back, ladies and gentlemen. Wait, can we get an exciting meme? Give it like a big thumbs up or something. You're gonna have to send me a meme song for that. <laughs> so two thirteen. That's gonna be a big difference from one fifty. And you know the best part about that? It's revving all of the way, you know? You don't have to worry about the 5500. All of it. Now he doesn't want, he's good. No, this motor is kind of. I think it was that limiter. Yeah. It was something, that, like soft limiter was just causing some issues. But you know, besides the timing being off and everything, Dude, we're seeing some power now. Six PSI, 213? Yeah, like six, seven. That's years. not bad. It's not bad. That's not at, at nine. It should be like I said, probably over that 230 mark. Which is a race. It's a race. Oh, let me get my tune. Oh, let's. You got, you got professional tune. Let me get my homeboy. <laughs> Your homeboy, the man that speaks Trionics. Yeah. I'm curious to see how much better what, this thing what feels. What do you use to tune your car? Trionics Seven. It's like. Do you have it? Uh, yeah. I mean, it's free. It's. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it, you, gotta, uh, <laughs> you can do everything you need to. It's just give me, it's complicated. Give, give like me a it. chance. Oh! If you want to touch it, go we'll for it. See what we can do with it. <laughs> it's a sob, so it'll probably break down. Have you ever tuned it. a sob? But no, car is a car, well, I, right? I tuned a Sabaru. Oh, okay. Like yeah. the sob with the WRX yeah. engine, yeah, but not the, the 92X. Yeah. Yeah. So we, we have to give it a try. Yeah. Hey, oh, God. Let's go. So last time we were on the dyno, these the dotted line was the, the graph. Something, something was just throwing that timing off. Oh big my time. god, it's huge, dude. Yeah. It's night and day. That should feel so much better. Yeah. I'm pretty stoked for it. Yeah, me too. It's not even my car. I'm super stoked for it. How can you not be stoked? Dude, this we're way over 200. This little turd might beat the GSR. Yeah, night. Yeah. Because he's not. Oh, look at him. He's getting all tough again. He was all depressed the other day. Now he's tough. He's hey, back to tough guy. We gotta make him happy. Yeah, we gotta make him happy. No, people, I don't let people just. Leave Everyone's gotta be happy. Huh? Everyone's gotta be happy, That's you know? 
Even if I lose, I'll be happy for the, the good old Accord, you know? Dang, 207 torque. Yeah, big torque. Good torque. Now we know nothing's wrong because it's more power than torque. Right. No, yeah. Nothing, nothing's holding us back. Yeah. No, more rest no restrictions. Exactly. Cool. There it is, boys. Let's go for a drive. So it's a little dark, but we're going to make do with what we got because we can't just hop off the dyno and not go for a drive, you know? Yeah. It should feel way different. Way different. 213? I hope I feel 213. 213. That will probably beat the Civic because you don't have any camber. You're happy. That was fucking wheel spin. That was wheel spin. What do you, you said, what was that? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. You couldn't just start it like a normal human? No, it's a Honda. <laughs> I started like a Honda. Are you going to launch it again? No. I'm just, no. <laughs> I mean, I can. There's no point. It's not hot, so we're good. See you soon. Definitely feels better. And look, it stops. <laughs> yeah, the Civic doesn't really stop. It's not bad. That wasn't bad at all. I like that, like, you're actually putting the power down instead of just spinning every gear like the stupid Civic. Yeah. Alright, let's try a no launch. Definitely way clearer, for sure. She ain't bad, definitely huge difference. But you, you know what I think? Oh. Turn the boost up. Turn the boost up. <laughs> Whenever you're ready, man. Six PSI though, I mean, you can't expect much more than that. No. So, it's pretty good. So I guess that's the end of the video, ladies and gentlemen. Let us know down in the comments below if you want to see Jordan race Matt in the Saab. And I mean, I guess we have to race with the Ricer Civic before I take it out. Because the Ricer Civic, I mean, she's she's almost dead because we have almost everything to further another another project. So, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you guys want to subscribe for more, subscribe for more. We got a bunch of stuff planned. Um, didn't want to miss the past two days, but we're going to continue on the daily vlog right now. Sorry about that. Peace.